What's up guys, welcome along to my YouTube channel and episode 4 of Brad's Vlog. Brad's Vlog. Now today guys, I'm going to do a review of Wrestlemania 33, which took place yesterday in Orlando at the Citrus Bowl. Some of the matches were pretty good, some of them were too predictable, but I'm going to give my general review of how what I thought of the pay-per-view. To be honest, I thought the pay-per-view was actually pretty good. Pretty good, to be honest. Some of the matches were pretty good. The AJ Styles won. I, I couldn't believe how good Shane was in that match. Um, the Seth Rollins Triple H match, it, it really surprised me because Samoa Joe didn't get involved. It really did surprise me that Samoa Joe did not get involved on Triple H's behalf. But then, the shocker. The shocker. That everyone thought would never happen. And that was Roman Reigns defeating that man, the Undertaker. And the Undertaker leaving his gloves, his hat, his coat in the ring. He went up and kissed his wife. Broke character. And he's announced his retirement from the WWE altogether. Which really did break a lot of the WWE Universe's hearts. But now on to the review itself. Now, the first match of the evening was AJ Styles defeating Shane McMahon. My general outcome of the match was it was actually a better match than what I thought it was going to be. Shane McMahon actually put up a good fight against AJ, but AJ, obviously, you're not going to beat him at WrestleMania. The only person to ever beat him at WrestleMania was Chris Jericho last year. But, other than that, it was a good match. Kevin Owens versus Chris Jericho for the United States Championship. Obviously, Kevin Owens beat Chris Jericho because Chris Jericho is going away with Fozzie. Now for so many months, he's going away with the w from the WWE to tour with his band Fozzie. Bailey beating Charlotte, Sasha Banks and Nia Jax. Pretty damn good match, I tell you. Nia Jax the first to get eliminated, then it was Sasha, and then Charlotte was beaten by Bailey, which was her crown achievement, hitting the macho man Randy Savage elbow off the top rope. That was a brilliant moment for her at WrestleMania, but the real story comes next. The Hardy Boys... Beating Gallows Anderson, Seamus and Cesaro, and Enzo and Cass. That was a shocking return from the Hardy Boys. And bringing, well, part of the broken Hardy Boys gimmick with the delete, 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 delete. The fans going delete, delete, delete in the crowd. And even shouting Brother Nero to Jeff Hardy. But that was a moment and a half. And I've got to say, that match was lived up to the hype it was brilliantly brilliant altogether john cena and nikki bella defeating the miz and marie too obvious that was gonna happen and then john cena proposing to nikki at the end too obvious that was gonna happen because miz and marie have been clamoring on for weeks and weeks and weeks that john cena was never gonna to propose to her never gonna get married never gonna have kids or anything but john cena proved them wrong once again because john cena is of course a wwe legend he is the the face of the wwe right now and I think he's still got it in. Next match, Seth Rollins defeating Triple H. The surprise was that Samoa Joe didn't get involved. Like I said, Samoa Joe not getting involved was the real shock for me. I thought he would have got involved and then a big return would have happened at WrestleMania. But obviously we've got to wait now until Raw. Because Raw, obviously, after WrestleMania is always full of surprises. Always full of surprises. Next match, WWE World Title match between Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt. Randy Orton obviously winning because Bray Wyatt obviously wasn't going to have a long reign. I knew he wouldn't have a long reign. And Randy Orton becomes WWE Champion once again. RKO hitting from out of The real shocking that match was how the mind games of Bray Wyatt. Having the underfloor with worms and such and maggots and stuff. It's like, what the heck are we watching here? I can't be bothered talking about this one, but I'm going after Brock Lesnar defeating Goldberg. Too obvious. Ten suplex and an F5. Boom, game over. Goldberg came out of the traps like he did at Survivor Series with a spear. After suffering three of them at the beginning. Three suplexes. Spear. Spear through the barricade. Another spear. Another spear. Jackhammer. We thought it was going to be a repeat of Survivor Series, but wasn't going to happen for Goldberg this time as Brock Lesnar delivered seven more su suplexes. An F5, and it was game over from there. Naomi defeating Alexa Bliss, Carmella, Becky Lynch, and Mickey James and Natalia for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Yep, as soon as she relinquished the title on SmackDown, I thought instantly she's going to come back and try and get it, and she just has. 
Now on to the one that really does break my heart every time I talk about it. Roman Reigns defeating The Undertaker. Too obvious it was going to happen to make Roman Reigns' career take off. Because he needed a big win. And that's exactly what he got at WrestleMania against the Dead Man. And the real sad story was at the end when The Undertaker left his gloves in the ring. His hat and his coat. Left it all in the ring. Went to his wife. Kissed his wife. Broke character completely. Walked up the ramp. Put his hand up in the air. That was the real sad story of the night. Now, on to the kickoff show. I wasn't going to do this, but I thought I'd do it now. The first match on the show was the kickoff show was Austin Aries losing to Neville for the Cruiserweight title. Too obvious that was going to happen. Neville was obviously never going to lose at WrestleMania because he's the king of the Cruiserweights. King of the Cruiserweights. You can't dethrone him. The Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Mojo Rawley, really, thanks to his best friend from, I don't know where he's from, but he's an NFL player, I know that as much, coming into the ring, smashing into Jinder Mahal, and he threw him over the top, knocked him off, what a win for that young man, that'll boost his career, basically like Zack Ryder he got, and then the final match on the pre-show, well the kickoff show as they call it now, was Dean Ambrose defeating Baron Corbin, that was a surprise, I thought that Baron Corbin was going to go in, win the title, make a statement of intent, to say that he was the man to beat, but obviously Dean Ambrose had other ideas. But other than that, the pay-per-view, I'd say, it was a good event for so many reasons. Because Shane McMahon showed he was tougher than AJ Styles, and he did actually prove that. He stuck it in the ring. But the, the real big story of the night was indeed the Hardy Boys' return. That was the big story of the night, I think. But Roman Reigns defeating The Undertaker was indeed a big statement from the big dog. And he needed that win. He needed it. He got it. And that's exactly what the universe saw. So, guys, I'm just really... Well, after WrestleMania, I was literally heartbroken when I saw The Undertaker put his gloves, his hat, and his... And his, um, his coat, his hat, and his gloves in the ring... But um, I'm just going to play this because I really think he deserves everything that he gets. See, 23 and 2 at WrestleMania, that is just unbelievable. But I'm going to play his song now to close out this video. Hate to see him go, but it had to happen eventually. Rest in peace, Taker. Thank you very much for the memories. Thank you so much for making my WWE experience the best it's ever been. Sorry, I'm getting a bit emotional, but but he was my hero. And My hero. Always will be. Thank you, Taker. Thank you. I'm going to do a little bit of a tribute to him now. Thank you very much, Taker, for all the memories. Thank you very much. Legend. Hall of Famer next year, guaranteed. So, guys... If you like the video, go below. Subscribe to the my YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the thumbs up. Give me some positive feedback. So, guys, I will be hopefully posting another video like this for the next big pay per view of the year, which is if I can get my list of pay per views, 
which is SummerSlam. SummerSlam's the next big one. So I'll be posting another review of that pay-per-view up on YouTube. So, guys... Thank you, Taker. See you later, guys.